Jose Antonio Vargas was at the UC Berkeley campus to kick off an event hosted by the Campaign for an American Dream. Vargas is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist as well as an undocumented immigrant. The Campaign for an American Dream sent off four undocumented students on a 3,000 mile walk across the country this past Saturday. Vargas, since coming out in a New York Times article in 2011, has headed a nonprofit called Define American. The top goal of Define American is elevating how we talk about immigration in this country. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, uh, not only do we have do we lack comprehensive immigration reform? We lack a comprehensive immigration conversation. Like, we don't even know how to talk about immigration in this country. Vargas, who left the Philippines when he was 12 years old, grew up with his naturalized grandparents in Mountain View, California. He says immigration issues are much more complex than many realize. For instance, despite his undocumented status, Vargas still pays taxes. So it's hard to talk about any pieces of legislation when we haven't really fully gotten on the same page about the issue that we're talking about mm -hmm. and the fact that people like me pay taxes people don't know that mm -hmm. and when they know and when they find out they're like what do you mean well ask the irs the irs doesn't care whether or not i have papers the irs cares whether or not i pay taxes yeah. and the complicated emotional toll it's taken on vargas has meant lying to close friends and co-workers we don't lie i certainly didn't lie to spite people or to like you know brazenly break the law I had to lie because I had because I wanted to survive. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of choice that I hate that people have to make. I get emails from kids pretty every not not kids, but students every day who are asking, should I do what you did? Should I just check the box? Should I just lie? Mm -hmm. And of course, I can't, you know, I'm in enough legal trouble as it is. I'm not about to like, you know, recommend lying. Yeah. But but these are the kind of hard choices people have to make. And so I'm sorry that he you know, Phil and a lot of my, uh, some of my mentors feel duped, but I had to do what I had to do. According to Vargas, these hard choices aren't easily fixed by popular policy solutions. It's not as easy, for example, as self-deportation. One of the walkers said that she lives in a house where her own brothers and sisters are undocumented, right? Her parents could be undocumented. I mean, that's the reality in most undocumented people's lives. Or marrying for papers. I can't just like marry my way into this, you know, as somebody who's openly gay, um, even if I get married in a state like New York where I live, yeah, which yeah. has same-sex marriage, the federal government won't recognize it because of the Defense of Marriage Act and immigration is handled by, the, by, by federal law, not state one. So that's why in some ways, you know, it's kind of being a third class citizen because mm -hmm. that wouldn't fix the problem. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, a lot of undocumented students too are openly gay. And so, again, marrying somebody is not, is not part of the equation. It's not part of the solution for that. Many believe that since Vargas has come out as undocumented, he stepped away from being a journalist and has instead taken on the role of an advocate for a cause. I don't know what they think I'm advocating for. I am merely advocating for my life. <laughs> as somebody who's undocumented and as somebody who's gay and as somebody who's Asian, like, <laughs> I am not privileged enough to be objective. Um, yeah. What I am is a human being that has all these needs and is fighting for my very existence, just like these four walkers are, right? right. We don't have the privilege to be objective about this issue because we have to fight for it. And so when people say that I have lack, now I lack objectivity and I can no longer be a fair, balanced journalist, I, I, you know, it, it's hard to argue with that. Jonathan Martinez, one of the four walkers for Campaign for an American Dream, likewise expressed that he has no other option but to embark on the 3,000-mile walk. The catwalk will conclude at the steps of the Washington Monument days before the presidential election. I got motivated to just be like, you know what, like, what am I doing with myself right now? I just received a bachelor's degree and uh, I'm currently in deportation proceedings right now. So I have an order for deportation that I'm currently fighting. And I was just like, you know, even if I continue with my education, I'm not going to be able to use this in this country. I want to do this campaign, not only for myself, but for, for the rest of the uh, undocumented students in this, in this country. With his own project, Define American, Vargas hopes to facilitate what he calls comprehensive immigration conversation. Make sure that white people and black, Amer white Americans and black Americans understand that they too are a part of this conversation this is not just about Latinos and it's not just about Asians you know unless you're a Native American or unless you're an African American brought here through slavery you, we all came here from somewhere white is not a country 
Yeah. Um, and so it's important, I think, to realize that history and honor the fact that, you know, we are a country built and replenished by immigrants. And I don't know what was up in Ellis Island in the turn of the century if ICE or some, you know, government entity agency was waiting there checking for people's, you know, papers. Um, yeah. But again, that's th those are the kind of historical context that I think must be brought into this conversation. Mm -hmm.